ODM Secretary General Dr. Agnes Zani maintains that announcement of presidential results will remain at constituency level and that the party will not allow it to be done by IABC in Nairobi. She says the party will not go back on this issue. This matter, and this we find is really just a front for Jubilee. We are asking ourselves when Trudeau speaks, is he speaking for Jubilee or is he speaking for IBC? You have seen the bitterness and angry outbursts from the Jubilee Secretary General, Mr. Rafael Tuju, who has appointed himself as a spokesman of IBC. You all know that whenever Jubilee and IBC speak from the same mouth, we are not far from having a situation that is going to run amok. You all will recall the circus that National Italian was in 2013, where IBC commissioners would come on national television, announce and declare cooked results, and when challenged, deploy the security apparatus to intimidate then cod agents. This mischief is what the law cured and corrected by declaring the constituency level as the final level for declaring presidential results. ODM and NASA will not be intimidated by IBC or the judiciary. We have had statements from certain quarters that ODM and NASA should stop threats and intimidation of IBC or the judiciary. We want Kenyans to know that NASA is raising a fundamental issue which is going to be at the core of a free, fair, credible, and therefore peaceful electoral outcome. A rigged election has no cure. Its aftermath can be costly to a country and therefore it is better to treat the symptoms now. It is better to go with the agreement that you've put into place. It is better to uphold this law that has already been upheld and given by the three bench uh, judge at the High Court. It is good to go again and look at the constitutional provision that is very, very clear. And really, this is what Kenyans decided is the way to do things after the acrimonious election of both 2007 and, 2000 and, uh, tw and 2013. So it is not by accident that Kenyans accepted this constitution with this particular provision put into place, because then it will avert. And it's even better, hierarchically, to deal with the issue of final results at a lower level than at an upper national level, because by the time all these results are all coming from the different directions, it's going to be more difficult than to deal with it at the constituency level, where we have the 290, and after that it's an issue of collecting. So its aftermath can be costly to our country. We as NASA and we as ODM, we want to declare here, we also support a process for a free and fair election. We support a process for peace, because Kenya is bigger than each and every one of us. We want an election not to be the beginning point to tear us apart as a fabric. We have so many other development issues to think about. We have to think about the promises we're making as NASA, the promises to come in and address, one, the issue of reconciliation and healing, two, the issue of TGRC report, and really the injustices that have been made as a way of moving forward, three, the issues of equity, gender, aged, the youth, people with disabilities, living with disabilities, for the issue of devolution, so that we make sure more resources can go to the counties. Five, the issues of institutions and putting these institutions in place. Six, the issue of social and economic development of this country. And last, to address poverty. And I'm saying this because these are our seven pillars. Many times when we're speaking, Kenyans are asking, but what do you want to do? And how are you going to do it differently? The seven pillars.